Hey listeners welcome back to Speakhack, your easy learning channel. As part of civil services preparation, today we learn about GDP trends in India. Let us start with knowing what is GDP? It means gross domestic product. It is actually the total market value of all final goods and services produced during a given time period within a nation's domestic borders. We can also say it as the total market value of all final goods and services produced during a given time period within a nation's domestic borders quarterly or annually. Its actual formula is consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports related to the components of GDP or net exports. These GDP or net exports represents all purchases of goods and services made by households 65 to 70 percent. Building factories, homes, regular business expenses, increase or decrease in business inventories. Expenses on things like national defense, operational expenses. An example is like, country owns $5. Country B, owns $5. Country A, produces $10. Example, assume that in 2018, a country called A produced only one piece of calculator priced at $10. To produce this calculator, country A used $5 worth of factors of production owned by citizens of country A and $5 worth of factors of production owned by citizens of country B. Answer is GDP of country A was $10 because it produced in its own country a good worth $10. It does not really matter who owned the factors of production in producing the calculator. GNI of country A was $5. Now we will see the sectors in Indian economy. Three sectors of economy 1, primary sector. 2, secondary sector. 3, tertiary sector. Primary sector is an economic activity is centered from extraction of raw materials from Mother Earth. Example, agriculture, forestry, mining, fishing. Secondary sector is an economic activity is centered around manufacturing. Example, production of goods and construction. Tertiary sector. It is all about services, also known as service sector. It includes subsectors like trade, transport, storage and warehousing, communication, banking, real estate, business services, public administration. These sectors are interdependent. The reasons for a strong service sector in India are 1. Foreign companies outsourcing in India. 2. Highly skilled, low-cost and educated workers. 3. Strong primary and secondary sectors. Some facts regarding Indian agro sector are 1. India is largely an agricultural country. 2. With 58% of rural households are employed in the agro sector. 3. Agro sector is crucial contributor to the GDP of Republic of India and a multi-billion dollar industry. Did you know? 1. India is largest producer consumer as well as exporter of spices and spice products. 2. India is the global leader in milk production. Number 1. 3. India is ranked number 3 in farm outputs. Sector-wise contribution to GDP. The food grains storage capacity is expected to expand to 35 million tons in next 5 years. The agriculture sector in India is expected to generate better momentum in the next few years due to increased investments in agricultural infrastructure such as irrigation facilities, warehousing and cold storage. Factors such as reduced transaction costs and time, improved port gate management and better fiscal incentives would contribute to the sector's growth. Furthermore, the growing use of genetically modified crops will likely improve the yield for Indian farmers. Indian Industrial Sector Major Industries in India 1. Automobile Industry 2. Pharmaceutical Industry 3. Biotechnological Industry 4. Cement Industry 5. Iron and Steel Industry 6. 
aviation industry. 7. Oil and natural gas industry. 8. Tourism industry. 9. Textile industry. 10. Realty industry. 11. Electronics and hardware industry. The Indian economy is the twelfth biggest in the world. The Indian government must boost the industrial sector industry growth rate in India GDP thus has been registering steady growth over the past few years. This has given a major boost to the Indian economy. The government of India thus must continue to make efforts to boost the industrial sector in the country. For this will in turn help to grow the country's economy. What will happen if country GDP is high? 1. Income of people increases. 2. Production increases so definitely employment increases. 3. Increase in the lifestyle of the citizens. 4. Per capita income increases. So let us hope that in future our country GDP increases rapidly. Thank you listeners.